I built a local AI voice assistant that runs on just 12 gigs of VRAM. His name is Cal. I can give Cal new abilities just by building new N8N workflows, no code required. And the best part, if I'm feeling lazy, Cal can even create his own tools. Yeah, it's actually insane. Let's check it out. This is the front end for Cal. It's built on LiveKit for the voice interaction, the WebRTC connection. We'll get into the details later. Let's connect. Hello, how can I help you today? Turn off the office lamp. The office lamp is now off. Is there anything else I can help you with? Turn it back on. The office lamp is back on. Anything else you'd like me to adjust? So Cal is connected to Home Assistant. I'm actually doing this through N8N. I found it easier to do it that way. I'll show you the details later. It just has one command, pass control, to control all the devices. So down here, you can see what tool it's using. And I put this in place to check for hallucinations because sometimes these local LLM models, they like to say they called a tool when they didn't. So now we can see that it did call a tool. Let's try something else. What's on the calendar today? You have filming scheduled from 1 to 3 p.m. today. Would you like me to remind you before it starts? So it's also connected to Google Calendar and it can get my calendar events. Pretty cool. Do I have any Brandon Sanderson books in the library? You have eight Brandon Sanderson books in the library, including The Way of Kings, Mistborn, The Final Empire, and Oathbringer. Would you like me to suggest a good one to start with? So it's connected to my home server as well, and it can interact and query with all my self-hosted apps. Pretty cool. A couple more. How's my fantasy matchup going? You're down by 19 points this week against Average Joe's 84.8. They've got a strong running game and a late season surge. Want me to check your lineup for adjustments? Not great result, but very cool. I got N8N hooked up to Yahoo Fantasy. You can check matchups, roster, who's injured. You can even do this. Send me the weekly fantasy report. The report is being generated now and will be ready shortly. I'll let you know when it's done. Would you like me to set a reminder for it or check your fantasy lineup while you wait? So it triggers a workflow. Workflow goes, gets all the, the fantasy info from my Yahoo API. It runs it through an LLM to do analysis, puts it into an email, emails it to me, and then calls an announcement webhook back to Cal when it's ready and Cal will let me know when it's ready. So let's wait for that. It takes about a minute and a half. The fantasy report is complete and in your inbox. Boom, there it is. Yeah, I'm trailing. Win probability up. So this is uh, midday Sunday. I'd be running this earlier in the week and uh, getting waiver wire suggestions, injury impact analysis, pretty sweet. Okay, one more, check this out. Do you have a tool to check NFL scores? No, I don't have a tool for checking NFL scores. Do you want me to make one? No tool call, you can see here. Yes, make a, a tool to allow you to do that. I've started creating a tool to check NFL scores in real time. It should be ready soon and I'll let you know when it's complete. Would you like me to notify you once it's available or is there anything else you'd like me to do now? So it triggered another workflow. It's creating Cal a tool and it'll automatically make it available for Cal to use. We'll check that out in a minute.
I've created ESPN Get NFL Scores. I can now check live NFL scores for you. Let's try it. Check the NFL scores. The Buffalo Bills are leading the Cleveland Browns 23 minutes 20. The Rams lost to the Seahawks in overtime 38 minutes 37. Would you like me to check a specific game or team? Check the Cowboys game. The Dallas Cowboys lost to the Lowe's Angels Chargers 34 minutes Lowe's 17. Angels. Would you like me to check another game or team? How awesome is that? Cal just created his own tool. I'm going to show you how that works in the next video. But first, let's look at how this all works with NADAN, with Cal, the architecture. Let's get into it. So if you haven't been following the series, Cal is my voice AI assistant that I've been building for a couple months now. I have a video that you can check out that goes over this blueprint. Um, it's basically the same blueprint as it is now. It has a few changes since I uh, recorded that video. But your voice never leaves uh, your home network. It stays on your machine, but it does interact with, with the cloud. So the way this works, I'll just go quickly over it. I have a web front end that's running live kit, communicating back to my AI server that's also running live kit. And then I have a Python agent that's built and it's running Olama as the brain. It's using Kokoro for text to speech and faster whisper for speech to text. And it has this uh, custom functionality that I built in around Olama. So it has web search available, but what I just demoed was this connection to N8N and it automatically discovers tools and workflows that I build in N8N, and then allows a Llama model to trigger those tools. So you can build whatever workflows you want, and those will be available to the LLM as tools that it can trigger. So right now I have ones connected to my home server, interacting with my apps, some cloud services like Google Calendar, and then connected to Home Assistant as well. So the LAMP demo you saw. So if we go over to N8N and look at the workflows, we can see this ESPN Get NFL Scores. That was the one that was created just seven minutes ago that Cal created himself. And you can see it's available in MCP. This is a new functionality in N8N where you have MCP server for the whole instance, and you can select which workflows get exposed to MCP. And if you're new to N8N, I just released a video that goes through some of the basics of web hooks and HTTP requests and building out some basic workflows. But this MCP functionality is relatively new in N8N, but it's key to how Cal can discover all the tools. So the MCP exposes two things that the LLM can look at. It's search workflows and execute workflows. So I'm using search workflows and then discovering those workflows and then rewrapping them so that Cal can use them. If you use the execute workflows, that's native to N8N, it executes the workflow and returns everything with the workflow, the nodes, the data, everything, and it just buries the LLM in context. So I've wrapped a, a separate uh, function around N8N to help with making it simpler for Cal to use. Those are the details, but now that that's set up, all I have to do now is create new workflows in here, expose them through MCP, and then Cal is able to run them. So let's check out this one. So this is the basic flow of most of them. So there's a webhook, a Cal calls, and there's a schema that we follow that the name of the workflow always matches the name and the path of the webhook. So it's that one-to-one. -one. So when it searches for the name of the workflow, it also knows the webhook path. It's always a post, just to make it simple. So it runs a HTTP post request to here. This one, this goes out and uses the free ESPN API. It formats it for voice and then sends the response back to Cal. That's the basic flow for most of these workflows. And in the webhook node as well, under notes, 
This is where the description of how to use the tool gets fed to Cal. So Cal knows how to use the tool, what parameters are available, if there are any, what information is returned. So when it's deciding what tool to use and how to use it, that goes in the notes section. And that's it. That's the functionality that gives Cal the ability to have basically endless tool possibilities. You just create them in N8N and he has it. You want him to check the calendar, build a workflow. You want him to check your fantasy scores, build a workflow. This is Cal's superpower. But what's not included in this release yet? So if you've been following along and you saw the, the blueprint, talked about the memory system. So giving Cal a long-term memory through this Memento MCP server that uses a graph SQLite database. That's functioning. Uh, how Cal can store memories and recall memories. I need to work on that functionality some more so that it works well. I haven't put this into the release yet, so that'll be coming up in the future. So that's Cal. It's available on GitHub right now. Go check it out, clone it, set it up, run it. I'm really curious on the workflows that you'll create. Let me know what you've done with it. And in the next one, I'm gonna show you how Cal is actually creating his own tools. So we're gonna open the hood up on this N8N Create Cal Tool workflow and show you exactly how that's working. So subscribe if you haven't and follow along. Thanks for watching this one and see you in the next one.